Well, actually, just so I double check, right? Easiest way to check your measurements. You got your your square, right? Can you even see? No, you can't, can you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the centre. Yeah. Bring that in. We are just under. We are 33.39, which is very close to 34 mil. But we're going to go with the 33.39. Yeah, and we're going to lock that off. And then you check. Perfect. So this is set number four. Set number four. Perfect. Perfect, look. So, I'm just going to check all of them. Theoretically, everything should be the same. That's all. Right. right, that's good enough for me. Right. Now I'll get back to what I was doing. Right, so I'll just give you a quick look at. Hang on, just sit me fire. Oh, she's ripping away now, boys. The setup I've got here. So we piloted with the 5.5. This is a half inch. And then we've got. What I did is I put the 5.5 down back in the hole. Then I put a back stop. And then this one's acting as an end stop. So I'm just slotting them in, and they're all right in the middle, right? So what I'm doing is I'm doing all the right side first, yeah, of all the sets. And then I'm going to flip the jig, so the hole will be at this end, and the stop will be at that end, yeah? And that's just to help, because we took all our measurements from the bottom, didn't we? Up. Right? Right. I just thought I'd explain that a little bit. And plus, I'm doing cutting over there on the saw, cutting these little blocks, because these are what sits, sit behind these. And I've been getting the fire ready, I've been making me a brew. Right. Really, I do need to get a better camera tripod thing. Well then, people. Hang on, let me just check me wood. It's all burning. Oh yeah. Fire's working cracking. Right then. So this is a modified rear arm, and all I mean by modified is I took the little bevel out the end, so these push right up against. Yeah. So the square. Then what I do is with the square, put it up, slide, and we should have contact on all four. Right. That we know now that our jigs have worked and we are square. You will get your your vernier off the table to the top. 25 10. On this side we've got 25 
499. So <coughs> we're pretty close. <clears throat> right? If there's any slight difference here, just touch it up with the grinder because we need these four to be right because this is your dating point. This is what's going to sit on the table when we come to fit them to the car, yeah? So that's that. And then what I'll do <coughs> is I'll keep arms in stock. A bit dusty now. I just check it. Put it on every tech, every one, and check it. And as long as we've got clearance there, we're good. Because this one's only ever going to move up and down, and this one's only ever going to come out. Because you're never going to tow in on the rear. You're always going to tow out, either be square or tow out. Right? <clears throat> so as long as we've got, we know we've got clearances there and there. Tolerances are tight, don't get me wrong, they're tight. Because I want this point as close to the chassis as possible. Right? So, what? Well, we have clearances. It's tight, but we've got clearances. All right, now let's move on to the next section, shall we? Right then, so this is where our options may vary because not everyone's got a milling machine. Right, so here's my mill. I've got the job set up in the mill and I'm using the end of my six inch as a stop. Because this has got a radius on it, I'm using parallel underneath there, which is just giving me the height away from the radius. Otherwise the radius would be in my jaw. That is set there. And I've got it on zero, well, 0 0.2, 0 0.02. What I'm gonna do is I'll put a one inch slot in these. So I will go, 20 mil up, five mil down. I don't know why anybody would want to run positive camber, but the option's there. Ideally, you could just run one inch up because you're never gonna run positive camber for any reason. Most people just run dead center. So that's what we're gonna do anyway. Right, so I'm gonna do them all. So what I'll do first is I'll show you one I'm going to fire up the mill, get it warm. Zero. 
Simple. Pimple. Yeah. So now, there is our adjuster. Geek. See? Adjusting slot. And we are dead square. Beautiful job. Now, I'll just lineage that back, give it a nice bit of a clean, and crack on with the rest of them. All right, so now we've done all the little ones. Now we've got the inside ones to do. Same sort of setup, but we've got to go that way. No. <coughs> Up and down. So, get it in the same position using our, the edge, the data point. So what we're going to do, we're going to lock off the left and right. And then we might need to do slide adjustments on the left and right. And we're going to open up the in and out movement. I have that locked up. So now we're going to need the in and out. So we'll set our zero as right in the middle. And we're going to do couple of mil back so I might do just do a 12 mil slot because you're never going to need more than a 12 mil it is it might get a bit of vibration noise up here two mil this way With zero, that's going to be like three or four degrees toe out. You're, ne you're never going to need it. Oh, yeah. So, 60 minutes in a degree, and I run 20 minutes toe out on the back of my car. So, I'm less than a degree toed out. So, we only need that. If anybody needs more, <coughs> Then all they've got to do is file it out. But I don't think anyone's ever going to need more than that. <coughs> on your toe. So if you think on a, on a CAD, on CAD rear adjusters, <coughs> they've only got a little square for toe and camber. Well, I've just given you 25, 30 mil, 25 mil AI. Right, and so we get these done. Get all these done, and I'll do the ones, and we'll speed it up a bit.
Right. So these are all slotted. Yeah, in their ways they need to do. Camber and toe. Right, so we've got all those sets done. Next job, the adjuster mechanism. Now, if you've watched my other video on making these, it's little washers. A lot of work goes into what I do because I make everything. It's, it's easier for me to make what I want and somebody else try and make what I want and it not quite be what I want. So, these little washers, there's another little video before this one. I'm making these. Now, this is my little jig. This is how I set these. We've also got these, right? These are stainless and they've been milled flat on them. Right, if I can stand you there. Let's see how close I can get you. Like that. Yeah? So this is your adjuster bolt. This is that washer, which is sitting in a radius arm bolt. This is a radius arm pin, by the way, with a nut on the end. And then I wedge it up against these two washers. This is the bolt, two nuts on this washer, which is what gives us our, makes it parallel. And then there's this washer, which goes in there. And then when the washer's removed, that nut has got space to spin. See? So we know how far on the nut we can go. And then you weld the nut to the washer. Yeah? And there's loads of them. And once we've done that, we've got to make these. And then it's all going to be set up in another jig and these get welded to that. It's very long-winded, but right then. So I'm going to crack on with these.